Man, shit. Well, no, nah, man, I fucking loved it. So this video is going to be primarily about um, that video game and story video yeah, games Yeah, and just general. stories. But um, yeah, uh, I actually fucking loved the game. It like, actually, it was pretty good. I'm going to be honest. I was... Spoilers. We'll use some yeah, spoilers. There's going to be heaps of spoilers. So if you haven't completed the game, go smash it out. Then come to me, and yeah. <laughs> or do, don't do what I did. Yep. Don't wait months. Yep. Just do, do it in <laughs> just, a week, just like Luke. Just do it. Um... <laughs> Nike. Um, <laughs> fuck. All right. All right. I like how the game. So it starts off obviously as a game. No, like, but then, <laughs> like, like, you know. Oh no, but like, all right, all right. You know how, and then it sort of more or less became more to me. It felt like I was immersed in a movie. Yeah, I'm like with agree. like the decisions, and like what was happening around me, and so yeah. I was like, fuck. Like I know this is a game, but like this could so easily be a fucking movie. Legit. Like so easily, it'd it be was like. It was definitely more like 70% movie, 30% game, like, which I actually didn't mind. I thought it was really cool. And like just how much, how much a single, like the butterfly effect of such a single mm. decision that you probably at the time, right at the start, you're like, oh yeah, that doesn't matter. Yeah. So it can change everything. It actually can. So you've got the three stories. You've got um, Kara who um, forms an attachment to this little girl who's getting abused by her father. You've got Connor, who's this... Um, Android sent by Cyberlife, which is the the best prototype they've got for a detective. And then you've also got Marcus, and Marcus has he's feeling trapped. He's feeling like he he li- he he's alive, and he gets um he kind of re- well, it depends what story mode you pick, but he gets away from his owner, and then he kind of wants to start a revolution and become like he wants robots. Or androids, sorry. He wants androids to be free. But one part I didn't understand. You know how he can grab people and, and set them free? Like, he, he holds yeah. onto them. And, where or did that come about? How did he get that power? I'm not sure, but I'll tell you, that actually, that started to annoy me in the game. How he's like, you're free. Yeah. You're free you'd now. And then see, you'd, uh, you'd, you'd, there was a mission where, you'd like, before you went in the march, in the, march on the street, you'd ha- each person you would grab... You're like you're free. You're free, and I was like, oh come on, let's let's hurry. Yeah, well, yeah, like, no I, shit. <laughs> but who was your favorite um, story to play? I personally, I actually like. Uh, it's probably the same as like a few people. I actually really enjoy Marcus's side of things. Yeah, I just think obviously with all the options that you can choose and all that, I I more or less went down the dark path. Mm. But I liked it even. As all that was happening, he still, like, because obviously there was options as well. Like, when you're still going down the pathway of, like, I'm going to have a revolution, there's still that sort of part of him that's like, I just don't think this is like, right. Yeah, and also you and can stuff stop. Like, like you can yeah. get close to the revolution and be like, no, I'm stopping. Yeah. Okay, which is pretty crazy. But like, you're so right before about the butterfly effect. They're, because I played it through three times, I platinum the game, I, I was so interested in, like, what little effects um, come into play later on. And I had no fucking idea how much if you made one little uh, different choice at the start of the game in the middle of the game whatever it affects each person's story mm. completely um i don't think as well the whole like, like just seeing like what not only like your friends have played if, if your friends have played the game obviously you can see like what they which way they went yeah. and stuff. but also like what the world who have chosen the game like yeah. all their ways that they've yeah. picked as well i think that feature was really cool we'll talk about our um our endings first and then go from there so for you how did you first end up so how did the game end with Kara Marcus and Connor so we'll all start things off I'll start things off how the game sort of played it out for me mm-hmm. so Connor I ended up on the rooftop yep and all that I tried to save old mate Hank mm-hmm. he, he wasn't too keen on me trying to you know save him yeah so pretty much you were you had been hostile the entire time. Yeah. Like, I'm a machine, but at the last moment, you decided to try to save him. Yeah, because I was like, oh, well, Hank's not that bad of a bloke. Yeah, like, yep. Get along with him. He ended up dying. Yeah. <laughs> um, ended up finding Marcus, and I, I chose to save him. And then the game sort of ended there. That was sort of it for, for Connor. Yep. Marcus, I just went full fucking evil. I was just like, <laughs> just fuck them all. Like, yep. seriously, just fuck all the humans. Yep. Let's get this revolution happening. Mm. Did it up working, <laughs> which I'm not a lie. I'm still pretty fucking salty about because I, I feel like in my head, yeah. how I did it, it should have fucking worked. It's actually a touchy point like, because no. So I'm just trying to remember where you were. You at a part where um you were surrounded by yes. a, at a car. Yeah. Now what was the unlocks? You had sing uh, and something else. Uh, yeah. And then I did can't. you have the option of kiss north? Yeah. Yeah. Did so you didn't press press kiss north? Did you? 
No, I don't think so. If no. you pressed Kiss North, they would have put down their guns. Oh wow! So you know, so how crazy is that? That you okay. think about it and you're like, fuck, I'm kind of pissed with that ending. And if you had just chose one different, yeah, button, fuck, that the whole thing would have been different. Mm. Yeah, fuck. And then yeah, Kara tried to swim across the lake. Yeah, so and, you, didn't uh, get through the, you didn't get through border control and you're trying to go across yeah, the lake. Yeah, and then, yeah, rest in peace, Luther Alice. But Kara's still alive, so you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, nah, so the way I ended it, because I loved the game, but I was not satisfied with my ending at all. Yeah. So I went with Marcus. I went the total ruthless, like, no, I'm killing all of you. Like, yeah. I'm not, I am not giving any of you a chance. And then with Connor, I also went, I'm a fucking machine. I don't give a fuck. And on the scene on the rooftop you're talking about, um, I killed Hank straight up. I won the fight and I was like, no, fuck you. And I killed him. And it's so cool that there's world stats because it tells you how much of people who played finished at that difficult, like finished that, chose that path. Yeah. And 1% had chosen that path, which was like, to me, I just found that so cool. I found it so cool that you can look and be like, I'm in this select few. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Far. And also, if you weren't, you could go, I'm going to play this again to find out what that's... Yeah, of course, yeah. Um, and then with Kara, I was disappointed because I really, like, grew, like, an attachment as in, like, I thought their bond was really cool and I wanted mm-hmm. to do anything to save Alice. But on the river, I think, I think instead of covering her when you're getting shot at or um, jumping in the water, I, like, tried to kick the engine. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Up. Stupid idea. And then... Car, um, Alice was dying and then it had an option like you die as well yeah. with her or you survive and I was like I'll survive because I thought there was going to be more but no it ended with her dying in my arms Marcus starting a full civil war and Connor being dead and I was kind of like fuck sick story but not one I'm satisfied with Yeah. so yep. I did the story again and I did it in a way where Marcus was nothing but peaceful Connor wanted to do anything he could to be with Hank and Hank's friend and he didn't he was going to turn into a deviant and I did anything I could to make sure Kara actually crossed the border and so much better game like Just so much better because I feel like that was what they meant you, you know you can go on your stories but I feel like what they wanted for you is for Connor to realise he was deviant for Marcus to be peaceful and for Kara to like to protect Alice for whatever you could and I led that on the second game playthrough, and I was really fucking happy with the ending. With quickly touching on Marcus here, mm. obviously <laughs> at the very start, he lives with like the he's sort of like a butler almost, yep. um, and stuff. You know how his son comes in, yeah. Because I chose, I was like, his son, his son's a fuckwit, yeah, yeah. And I, if you don't retaliate to him, do you still get kicked out anyways? If you don't retaliate, um, the what's is it Hank? What's no, not Hank. What's the Oh, I can't remember his name. What's the old guy's name? I can't. I oh, yeah. How do I remember? Uh, well, anyway, if you don't, the fight knocks over and kills him, so he dies. Oh, okay. And then the son tries to blame you. So uh, that's where it continues on. From so here. that means that then no, would you wouldn't go back to his house later in the game? No, then? you go to his grave. Oh, okay. So how great, like, and that's near the end. So that's at the very start. Yeah. And it's just there's like a spider web of options. You choose one thing, like especially further in the game. And then there's five options. After you pick one, there's another five. And then another fucking yeah. three. And then, like, it's just crazy. It, it is... I really enjoyed the game. I wish more was like it. I know people are saying, like, oh, there's not enough gameplay. It's like, every single game is nothing but gameplay. Uh, yeah. It was, it's good to see. If that... But, I'll admit this. If the game... If the story was shit, I would have fucking hated it. I'd yeah. like, oh, my God. No, that's that's a fair call. I think, overall, pretty good game. Like, oh, I was pretty pleased with it. I'm glad that I now have finished it. Mm. I definitely... I'm. Glad that I still made the purchase yeah. and all that. I'm definitely not like, fuck, that was shit. Yeah. If anything, though, I think I, I sort of wanted a little bit more. Yeah. Like, it left me leaving a little bit more. Like, I don't think they should... I don't want them to do a Detroit Become Human 2 just because I, yeah. I, don't, I don't want that. Mm. But like what you sort of said yourself, if there was some DLC, DLC yeah. that'd be cool. Yeah, that would be that would be nice. Like, a ch- it's a bit of a cheap DLC. But I can fully understand where you're coming from. It's like, this, like we, we both work a fair bit. And uh, and there's other video games that you'd rather prioritize on, um, and you're like, man, I just don't want to do a second playthrough. I'm like, I fully understand where you're coming from. Like, I was on a kind of grind. Yeah. I was like, I want the platinum, but 100 percent. If you got one of the endings like you got, yeah, yeah where yeah. it's not as satisfying yeah. as it could be, you're kind of like, yeah, I'm, I'm not ready to play it through entirely again, just for a different 
yeah. the different cutscenes. Like, I suppose as well, like with having like a YouTube and all that. Like if if I really all, wanted they're, to, they literally is which all is the then when, on when you yeah said to me, I think it was like ninety nine or some shit. And it's mm. like fuck, I've done one like yeah ninety nine possible, indeed. which is just ridiculous in my opinion. Because it, there's even one man if you can get all the characters killed off so early in the game because you don't touch the controller, and it's and then it it, it ends with like Kamsky that the creator going back to um, cyber life and restarting his like going back and him being the CEO or something like that and then it's kind of like an, an edge is he a is he um, an android or is he like deliberately trying to cause world war by putting like RA9 the virus into oh. these androids the whole, there's a whole thought that he is deliberately putting these viruses into the yeah. androids. Well, that's a funny thing as well because, war. like, he never really answered that question. Mm. I was like, "Oh, what is RA nine? Because that's what I chose. Because that's what I chose too. And, yeah. he didn't and, he, and he's just like, "Oh, I don't know, really." Like, yeah, and, and all that. And I was like, "You're full of shit." Like, but the the story, man. If you choose to be f- Hank, friends with Hank, there's like at the end, there's a new entire mission as well. Like, you go to Cyberlife and try to convert thousands of androids. And mm. I was like, "Fuck, this is a new mission." Yeah. If I've replayed, and I was like, "That's crazy." And there's the the coolest part for me was, and I had to replay this for the third time to get it right for the platinum. When you are with Kara and you steal the bus ticket and go on the bus and you actually get to the border, yeah, you t- steal that family's bus ticket, and it's like Alice thinks left for you. It's like f- shut the fuck up. You don't know what to think. You're a kid. Yeah. Um, and then you get across. There's border control, and you and they're doing scans, heat scans, and you're in this line and. There's this option of like Rose, the woman you've met, the Jerry, the guy you met at the fucking park or whatever it was. Yeah. There's all these, all these options, and you're you can either choose to sacrifice no one, take chances, or sacrifice like Luther, the Jerry. Yeah. The Rose tries to do something, whatever. And I sacrificed Jerry at the start because like I want to finish this game with yeah. him being alive. Um, and then one of the achievements is like the hardest one is like everyone has to survive by the time you finish, like everyone you know, and I was like, fuck, so I had to do it again, and then, on the second one, I did like, um, um, no one, no sacrifices, and then, the guy who's like, doing the scans, looks up to the TV, and he looks at the right, that Marcus is holding, and yeah. if it's peaceful, he lets you through, but if, if he, if Marcus is like, killing people, he'll be like, nah, and kill you, and I thought that was fucking, so cool, and so crazy, it's like, you could be like, Fuck, I hate people with Marcus, but I want to be peaceful with Kara. And it fucks Kara's storyline, which is interesting. Yeah, so. that is true. That is true. I felt like I was pretty peaceful when I played Kara. Yeah. Like, she was the only one. And I think that as well with Kara's situation is, the whole time, how crazy was it? More so for Kara, I don't know, like, I sort of started to feel a bit like, mm. but the fact that massive bombshell here, us is an android. Is an android. Yeah. All because of the father's just big, big old fuck-ups. Yeah. And he wanted like that is just that like yeah it was just like crazy to me it, w- it was pretty cool I did I did um I did really like it and there's so many interesting things that I knew on my thir- like second third playthrough like when you're in that strip club investigating if you look to your left as you're walking in there's North's um android like there's North in one of the strip things because if you oh, wow. like as you listen in the story North was yeah a hooker like that got used and there's another North in the strip club and it's small like there's heaps of shit like that around the world um when you play it and yeah it is it's just I really enjoyed it and I hope that I don't want uh, yeah I don't think I want another oh maybe a, n- a number two because I really enjoyed it but DLC would be good otherwise, DLC otherwise more characters. otherwise more games sort of like yeah. the whole butterfly effect yeah and if you almost like an until it was almost like until dawn yeah mm. and they're making like another one of that actually no, I I really right, and you With know, like your choices the, the, where like can affect the story and, and stuff. And like I've got like a good TV in the PS4 Pro, and it looks crazy. Yeah, it did like, look it fucking look, nice. It looks really insane. So you look so at, you get immersed. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So you're looking at the thing, and you're like, fuck, I can like you you I can really see your emotion and shit. Um, and the music the music for it was very good. Yeah, played at the right times. Yeah. And did you see the extras though, where you could unlock the skins and yeah, stuff? Yeah, I didn't that really understand. Stupid. I didn't that really understand so much stupid. of that. If I'm honest, I feel like that was just throwing extra stuff in to throw it in because you could unlock. Yeah, they have like these bonus point things where, and it was like, yeah, you could buy like stuff like photos and stuff. And I'm like, but what do they Legit, do though? I, I, the bonus points. Got me. I was I, like, that's I, cool because you can. That I was like, if I can get enough, I could spend on something cool. But the things that you get is just the things like 
outfits you've worn of characters and then you buy it and all it is is the description of a character and then repeat like with a different outfit it's like car in three outfits and you buy it and it's like what have i achieved what like what have <laughs> I, I, achieved? I thought is one of the trophies finding all the magazines because yeah, i had a few that was, that was one yeah of them. so i was lucky with with that on my second playthrough like because i went so um hard with certain things like there's the only way when you choose a story like when that old guy dies at the start as you go through, then the one magazine will show like his death and you read it, but you have to do the complete opposite and make sure he's alive to read one of the magazines that say he got a new painting up. So that's why the magazines are so annoying because they change completely with the story. Okay. So you will, you will hunt because after one, po- on one playthrough, not be able to get them all. Yeah. Cause I'm half. Cause I was going to say on one playthrough, I had, yeah, one, cause I think there's, Fuck, I don't know if there's 43 or 44. I know it's 40-something magazines. Yeah. And in my first playthrough, I had 22. Yeah. Yeah. Because I was like, damn, that's all right, actually, considering that I only played through it once. Like, Well, I just hope there's more games like that come out and they just focus. They don't need to focus on the gameplay. Because all, all you have to do is add in the yeah. buttons in. But focus on the story. Because if you're immense in the story, I'm 100%. I think it's, it's a, a good change of I pace. Think, I think the thing for me as well, though, because like, I'm a very big multiplayer sort of... You know, I don't really play a lot of story game. Yeah. Like, yeah. to actually play a story game and get pretty invested in it and stuff. And, like, I don't know. Like, the whole fact as well that I was talking to you about, like, the decisions mm. and stuff, like, it made it a lot more enjoyable as it well. Did. Like, I'm pretty keen to, like, go go and finish, like, say, like, a God of War, because I've, I've really only scratched the surface for that. Yeah. Last of Us is still there in its case, like, untouched, yeah, that I know that I need to play. Yeah. Um, same as, like, Uncharted, which I know is a bit repetitive and all that, but, like, you know. Hmm. No, yeah, I hope I hope there's more games like this, because it's, it's a good change of pace, and it's something different, and you, that you need something different. But, yeah, I, I rate it very highly. I platinum, like, if I platinum a game, it means I'm... Yeah, pretty invested. I'm pretty invested. I don't, I don't just go and play a game just be like, oh, I'm going to get a platinum trophy. But I, <laughs> it means like I've enjoyed it. Yeah. And I want to keep playing it. So yeah, I really enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I've got to say. It's just interesting that there's so many options you can choose. And, and almost like, as well, it's like, sort of it comes back to real life just quickly mm. as well. It's like, fuck. For example, like, yeah. it's like if I worked harder in school right now, would this like, would... 100% You know like 100% It's just a, stuff it's like that If I didn't spend that money On my first car mm. What would I be driving Like just and, 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 and Something as small as that and crazy. It's, Imagine if like You <clears> you get like A Tats Lotto ticket Or a Scratchy ticket one Like one day You were going to And you're like No nah, I wouldn't And that had like 250 grand I know that's a stretch But yeah. like seriously That would change your life There's forever it Just the way for exa- The way I think about it now If I Knock over my computer right now My whole entire 